We're in Office 365, now renamed to Microsoft 365. I'm going to show you how to mail enable a distribution list. So if we click on admin, it's going to take us into the admin center. Now, if you're using Exchange on-premises, it's going to be the same procedure, but you're just going to be right in the Exchange admin center to start with. With Office 365, we need to do a couple extra steps. So click on show all, and then we're going to go down to where it says Exchange and click on Exchange. Next, we're going to click on Recipients. And then at the top, there's a bunch of different options. I'm going to choose Groups. Now I've got a lot of different groups to pick from, and in this case, I've got a hybrid situation. And that means I've got some groups that are on my on-premises exchange and some online, but you can just ignore that. The only thing you need to be concerned about is if you do have some exchange on-premises groups in a hybrid situation, you'll have to go to the exchange on-premises uh, admin center to make that change. Otherwise, you'll just get an error. But in this case, I see some Office 365 groups. So those I can change from here because I'm logged into Office 365. So once again, if you're in Exchange on-premises, just do it from the Exchange Admin Center and not from here. Now I'm going to click on Delivery Management. And first off, make sure that I see the accept messages from all senders and reject messages from no senders unless you'd like to specify those particular people by clicking on the plus and choosing those people. I'm going to allow all messages. Now we need to do one additional step. I'm going to go to General. And I'm going to scroll down. It says, let people outside the organization send email to the group. And once I check that box and click Save, now email can come to this particular group from anywhere. Now, if you're using Exchange on-premises, it looks a little bit different. So I'm going to go to a, an on-premises distribution list. So instead of being called Office 365, it's just called distribution list. And I'm going to go to where it says delivery management. And you see, this looks a little different. So I'm just going to click on senders inside and outside the organization can send to my group. Now, if I want specific people to be able to send to it, I'll just click on the plus box and I'll choose whoever I want to be able to send email. But you see, most of these email addresses are inside my organization. But what if I wanted to have a specific person or group send email from outside the organization? Well, I would need to first create a contact and then that person or that group will show up in this list. And then I can click add, for instance, and then click OK. In my case, though, I'm just going to allow anyone to send to this particular distribution list. Now, once again, I'm in Office 365 in a hybrid situation. So when I click Save, I'm going to get an error message. But if you're in the Exchange on-premises admin center, then this will go right through. So two different ways, just slightly different from each other, for enabling email to distribution lists for Office 365 as well as Exchange on-premises.